people and welcome to another video. So today I'm out doing a little bit of hiking and um, just doing a bit of training really, it's my day off and for those of you who know uh, I'm doing Hadrian's Wall um, in a couple of months. So I've been uh, out and about just doing a bit of walking, getting used to the pack again and uh, getting the legs in all work in order. Now I made a bit of a discovery um, a couple of weeks ago now and I want to share it with you. For those of you, for those of you who are into uh, like ultra light, lightweight backpacking, this is a must. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce the Aqua Clip. Introducing Aqua Clip. You might be thinking, what the hell's that? So let me backtrack a little bit. For those of you who are already into backpacking you will already know that having a hydration bladder in your bag is generally seen as a bad idea. Now this is when I'm, t I'm talking if you really want to shed grams, if you want to become as lightweight and physical as possible. A hydration bladder is seen as being quite heavy in comparison to a water bottle like this. Um, and these aqua clips make this system of carrying water 100 times better. Now I didn't realise how good it was until I actually tried it in the Peak District a couple of weeks ago and you can ask Emily, I had this kind of, uh, what's the word, realisation, this crazy realisation and I was just like, oh my god, what have I been doing all my life, I need more of these things. Then I broke it, I stood on it and it broke <laughs> and I was really pissed. Um, but anyway, going backtrack again. The, the hydration bladders are generally seen as quite heavy and they're also quite cumbersome. You don't know how much water you've got in your bag so you're sipping away all day and you have to get your bag off to check and stuff like that. I'm now converting to carrying water bottles simply because I can see how much water I've got, I can happily drink away and I haven't got to bother with the fuss of trying to fill the hydration bladder up and all that nonsense. This is a much simpler way of doing things. Smart water bottles are used simply because they have a, a thicker plastic so they're a bit more durable, a bit more reusable and also the tops, funny enough, they fit a uh, Soya Mini filter which is quite convenient at times. But the problem with having a water, water bottle like this is how do you get to them? If they're in, the back, in, in your side pouch like that one is there, then if you can see it on my map, I can't, I can't get to that to get it out, not, not easily anyway. So you find yourself keep asking your friends, can you grab my water for me, can you grab my water for me? And then the aqua clip came into my life. Like, oh my god. Like, if you're into this kind of backpacking, you need one of these in your life, please go, go and get one. Basically, it's really simple, it just clips onto the top of the water bottle, as you can already see. But it, what it enables you to do is to hook it onto your hip belt. So, I think I'm pretty sure you can see. I can just hit, clip mine there and that enables me to walk around happy as day, it doesn't bother me, it doesn't get in the way what I, what's that one bit um, but I can just grab my water just like that, have a drink mm -hmm. put the top back on and clip it back in place it's game changing man, I'm telling you this shit is game changing you need one, go and get one they're relatively cheap, they're about three dollars. Only problem being is because they're so cheap, to, there isn't a UK supplier, you have to get them from America. And because they're so cheap, you have to buy them in batches, um, batches of 12. So I, 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 I recommend you get your friends together and just buy a batch. It's not even that much, you know, 12 uh, all together doesn't actually come to that much, it's not a massive deal. Um, that's the only downside, but there's no alternative, there is only one aqua clip company in the world and it's so simple but I love it so much, I can't, I don't know if I'm expressing this properly but it's just like, you don't understand how much of an issue it was having to try and get my bottle and I didn't want to use a hydration bladder but I, but I was like what am I going to do, I can't keep doing this system, like it doesn't work and then that came into my life. I have to say thank you to Brian over at Hyper, um, I was going to say Hyperlight then, that's my bag. I have to say thank you to Brian over at Aquaclip because um, 
he messaged me um, after after I was looking on the website, and I was explaining that I broke mine, and uh, he he sent me a few free of charge, so I cannot complain. Um, I'm not getting paid to to say how great it is because honestly, I was going to buy more because my other one broke because it's just it makes so much sense. Like look how easy I can grab my water. I love it. So yeah, go and get one. What are you waiting for? Like it's. So yeah, if you're into lightweight backpacking or if you're looking into getting into lightweight backpack, backpacking, seriously consider getting rid of the hydration bladder. Once you get over the fact that these aren't some fancy Nalgene bottle, you're onto a winner. These things weigh nothing. The system itself just makes so much sense. It's so easy. And just try it. Please just try it. it it's just... I can't get my words out because I'm so passionate about the aqua clip. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Aqua clip. Aqua clip. Did that even focus? Oh, yeah, it did. Oh, yeah, it did. If you need to hydrate, aqua clip. The other thing that's worth mentioning is they come in different colours. Quite an array of different colours, might I add. So if you're into stylish backpacking and you need your aqua clip to match the colour of your bag, look no further.